What's going on guys, Winter Kills here, and welcome to a bit of a discussion. Today we're going to be talking about the new set coming out, and that is Mystic Fighters. Now, it's not, uh, like, on the radar for everybody as being a good set. Um, you know, it's no, like, uh, it's no Dark Neo Storm, like, it's no, like, game-breaking set. This we know, but it is introducing three new archetypes into the game. Uh, which are all very unique, uh, I would say, and uh, some really cool reprints coming out uh, that will be uh, useful to have for these sad new archetypes. Uh, and I'm going to be going over uh, some of my favorite cards in this set, cards that I'm looking forward to, um, and are sort of like uh, which archetype I'm looking forward to the most. And we'll talk about some awesome reprints that are coming in this set as well. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and get into that. Uh, and if you want to pick up any Mystic Fighters or any singles from Mystic Fighters, uh, don't forget to use my affiliate link to TCG Player down in the description below. And also, if you want to buy anything on Imperium Duelist, uh, any sleeves, playmats, dice, etc., etc., check them out down in the description below as well. And you can use that discount code WINNERKILLS10 off for 10% off your entire order. Now, let's get into the discussion. All right, so the first card we're going to look at is the Mathmac Editor Laplacian. Uh, this card takes three level four monster. It is a earth uh, rank four cybers and basically says if a math mech card or cards you control will be destroyed by card effect, you can attach one material from this card instead. If this card is Ixie summon, you can attach up to three materials from this card, then activate the same number of the following effects. Send one random card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. Send one spell trap your opponent controls to the graveyard. So, you summon this bad boy. Yes, it does take three level threes, but in Math Max, in a deck like Satellar Knights, and maybe some other strategies as well, that could be a pretty easy thing to pull off, and this card could outright just get you super far ahead in a given game. Uh, it does take a lot of commitment to go into, has built-in protection, and on summon you can detach three, um, and just resolve all of these amazing effects. Send one monster your opponent controls to the graveyard. This does not target. This is like the same wording as Dengirsu. Dengirsu is an incredible card. Um, this card has built-in protection too. Um, only from uh, card effect though. Not from battle. But still, that's pretty good. Um, and this card is absolutely amazing. I love this card. I'll definitely be picking it up uh, to try it out in Satellar Knights. Because I don't think I'll be picking up Math Mech. Um, but this card is definitely one that I'll be picking up. Uh, the next card I want to talk about is the Math Mech Editor. Uh, D. Alambertian, whatever it's called, um, the other Math Mac rank 4 that I think we weren't originally, uh, I think most people think we weren't going to get this in Mystic Fighters and we'd get it in Ignition Assault, but we're luckily, uh, lucky enough getting it in this set, um, in this card, much like the last one, Laplacian, um, is a, uh, generic rank 4, uh, 2000 attack, 0 defense, Cybers, Earth, uh, takes two plus level four monsters, so a little bit more flexible. Um, and it says if this card is Ixie Summon, you can attach two, three, or four materials, four materials uh, from this card. Apply this effect depending on the number detached. Two add a Math Mech card from your deck to your hand. That's pretty good. I mean, in the, for the deck on its own, that's pretty good. Three add a level four monster from your deck to your hand. That's a pretty good thing to search. Dark Greffer, Armageddon Knight, I don't know, I, I don't see Orcus making this card, but this is just an example. Um, and then four, add one spell trap from your deck to your hand. Any spell trap. It does take a ton of commitment and a ton of setup to go into this card, all to search a spell or trap, but again, it searches any spell or trap. There's no restriction on this. There's no, you can't play it this turn, uh, cards that names of X cannot be activated, um, you can literally search it, play it, and do whatever. Um, yes, it can be susceptible to this card getting ashed. That would suck, because you essentially put all your eggs into one basket for this card, and that's no good. Um, but, uh, you know, on paper, it seems amazing, and it's still a card I, I kind of want to pick up and experiment, uh, even just for the 3 and 4 effect, even though they might be a little bit harder to get to still applicable in other strategies other than math mech so that's why i really like this card now the next uh set of cards i want to talk here uh talk about are not extra deck monsters these are um the generate cards i picked out three specifically i could talk about all the generator cards um but i want to mention these three specifically the first one i want to talk about is karate the generator boss of swords 
Now, this one's effect on paper and at a first glance might not seem too good. Uh, but when we go into the discussion later on and we talk about um, the reprints we're getting, there's actually some really devastating, um, you know, kind of setups uh, you can have uh, and things that have really good synergy with this card and a lot of other uh, generator cards as well. The field spell and the trap. Um, there's kind of a reoccurring theme here in some of the cards that have been reprinted. They kind of mesh really well together. While it may be uh, seen as like a gimmick, it can be pretty devastating uh, if pulled off. Um, but this card basically says, uh, Quick effect, you can tribute any number of generator monsters and or warrior monsters, then target that many monsters on the field, destroy as many of them as possible. Then your opponent can draw one card for each monster they control that was destroyed by this effect. That doesn't seem too good. Obviously, if you uh, just take face value of the board wiping capabilities, it seems okay. But when you look at the drawback, the fact this card could let your opponent draw two, three, four cards doesn't seem that good um and it's just take it with a grain of salt for now we'll come back to this card we're gonna move on to the next card here which is nidheg generator boss of ice i really like this one as well because this is i feel like one of the better generators next to the plant monster um which can be summoned off a lone fire which is coming in this set as well as a reprint um so all the generator cards looking significantly really good um, and uh, this one stands out to me though because it is a solemn strike if you're when your opponent would special summon a monster or monsters quick effect you contribute one generator monster or worm monster uh, as cost and negate the summon and if you do destroy that monster or monsters you can only use the effect of Ned Hog generator of ice once per turn but that may be all you need to use it is just once and that could just be enough um, so this card is really solid on its own and one thing to keep in mind all of these monsters are level 9 So, you know, what that means true king of all calamities is coming to infest a locals near you uh, Because this deck will be absolutely just vomiting out So many vfds you'll just lose your fucking mind. There's just gonna be so much vfd spam world legacy monstrosity Just get ready for it um, Yeah, just just get ready hell generator boss of doom is the next card. I want to talk about um this card is really interesting because, yes, it's really good for the generator strategy, but can also be thrown into the zombie strategy because it is a zombie. And as we know, zombies in of themselves right now are a pretty solid rogue contender. Zombie world on its own is incredible, but combined with rivalry of the warlords, can pretty much shut out any deck from being able to play in this current format. And Big Daddy Baller Drock is a really cool card as well. And when you look at Jack of Bulan, that new zombie card we're getting later on, I think next year, uh, it makes the deck even better, the Mayakashi Link 4. And then you get a card like this, you know, it just kind of adds up to making them a really solid contender. But its effect is, quick effect, you contribute one generator monster or zombie monster, then target one generator monster or zombie monster in your graveyard with a different name, special summit in defense position. Now, under zombie world, you could summon literally any monster in your graveyard with this card does not matter um pretty good pretty good card i will say now we're gonna move on to a couple dragon made cards here i think these two cards will probably be uh the more sought after dragon made cards um i'm not entirely too sure i've only had like a little bit of experience of playing dragon maids and i had a horrible experience the deck does not seem like it's that good but then again i might be wrong i haven't been testing it at all and there's probably people out there who have been testing it and pulling off some pretty cool plays other than i don't know you make a fusion summon i don't know maybe i'm just um judging the deck too early but i don't think it's that good i think generators are the best strategy out of this set and this might be something i actually end up picking up and covering in future videos if that interests you guys let me know but the first dragon maid card i want to look at is dragon maid tilru um, i don't know if that's going to be its tcg name or not but as, as the level three fire uh, 500 attack, 1700 defense. If this card is normal or special summon, you can add one dragon made monster from your deck to your hand, except itself. Uh, then you can send one dragon made monster from your hand to the graveyard. So technically, you could add a dragon made card and then send that same dragon made card from your hand that you just added from your deck. So um, it can serve as a foolish burial, um, or it can just net you a free card and get you a free discard, uh, which is really great. I think this card is a really good facilitator. Uh, for the deck and then of course dragon mates hospitality uh it's a really really good card it's a monster born and a foolish burial all in one special summon one dragon made monster from your hand or graveyard defense position then you can send one dragon made monster from your deck to the graveyard with the same attribute but a different level 
Um, so yeah, there's that foolish burial aspect. It's also a little bit better than Monster Born, I guess, because you can summon from hand or grave. Um, so a lot of utility with this card. I think definitely you'll probably be a, uh, a two or three of in the deck, um, 100%. Now we'll go ahead and talk about the reprints here. Um, I've got uh, a few reprints selected out um, besides Lone Fire Blossom, which I'll mention because Lone Fire will definitely played, uh, be played in Generator uh, because you can summon the uh, the plant uh, generator off of it. But Super Rejuvenation comes to mind when we're looking at Dragon Maids. Um, this might be the card that gives the deck a competitive edge. I don't know. Super Rejuvenation is a weird card because at some points it's terrible and at some points it's just insanely busted. You know, end phase, draw four cards. Maybe you draw into another Super Rejuve, chain that Super Rejuve, draw four more cards. It could literally be that insane or it could sit dead in your hand for a few turns depending on how uh, good of a hand you opened and whether or not this card helps you or not. It is kind of a win more card, but nonetheless can be the type of card that allows Dragon Maids to be able to push themselves into the competitive scene. I don't know if we'll see that. I'm doubtful, but you know, anything can happen. And then of course, Tempest Dragon Ruler of Storms is another card I wanna talk about getting reprinted here in Mystic Fighters. Um, amazing card, of course, we already know this. And it's been quite some time, I think, since Tempest had, has had a reprint. Don't think it'll get reprinted in Secret Rare, it might. Um, but I see it maybe being super rare. I don't know if this is going to be one of those sets where it's going to be all secret rare or super and secret rare. And that's probably what it will be a mix of those um, as side sets usually are. Uh, and then moving on to a lot of the cards that are getting reprinted that help support the generator archetype uh, is True King of All Calamities. As I said, it's going to be an absolute shit show with this deck. I think there's just going to be so much VFD spam, so much True King of All Calamity spam it's gonna like boggle your mind a little bit uh at some point so you kind of got to be prepared for it i don't know how much representation this deck will see but if there's one thing it can do it is summon true king of all calamities and that card can shut you down for turn after turn and most builds are probably going to be playing two copies of this since you can literally like making this card is literally like just an afterthought for this deck it's how easy it can be done especially with world legacy monstrosity now moving on, we'll talk about two trap cards that are getting reprinted here in the set, and they haven't been reprinted in quite some time, and they're very old trap cards to begin with. The first one I want to talk about is Heavy Slump, and I want to talk about Heavy Slump because this is a card I used to play way back in the day in Satellar Knights, and, uh, because you would bounce everything back to the, uh, on the field to your opponent's hand. Uh, they'd have an absurd amount of cards in their hand, and then you'd activate Heavy Slump, as if your opponent has eight or more cards in their hand they shuffle their entire hand of the deck and draw two cards now that's a minus six what would you do after that in tower knights you would use Traver's effect attached and take another card out of their hand and they just had to suffer a minus seven at like little to no expense to you other than flipping up this trap card yes it does require a little bit of setup but trap trick is a card and um yeah, this, this card is pretty nuts and could be pretty powerful in a deck like Generate when we look at the field spell, uh, Generate Stage, that uh, I believe when a Generate monster is special summoned, uh, you can summon like as many tokens, as uh, Generator tokens as possible. Uh, so for your uh, Generator of Swords, you can use that effect during your opponent's turn to tribute away all those tokens, blow up a ton of monsters on the side of the field, and they draw a bunch of cards and it puts them over that eight card limit and you just make them go super minus now a card that might be a little bit more applicable is appropriate uh, and shout out to tom box from mst tv for uh bringing the light uh to this card at least showing it to me um and seeing that it has a lot of potential in the generator strategy and, and just inherently and against decks that might play danger cards this could just be free pluses for you it says activate only when your opponent draws a card or cards except during the draw phase um, and then draw two cards uh, is the effect and uh, basically, again, combining this with the trap card uh, that allows the generator territory that it says uh, when your opponent tries to negate uh, an effect of or activates an effect in response to a generator monster, you simply make that effect. I believe each player draws a card. Yeah, so the effect does become each player draws a card. So you'd be able to draw three cards off of that. A uh, lot of synergy here. Um, so I think these really old weird trap cards have a lot of potential for this deck um i don't know how much it will be used in practice but in theory it seems pretty darn good um but yeah that's gonna do it for this little uh you know discussion on the mystic fighters set what do you guys think about the set um 
I mean, I'm not super excited for it, but there are really cool cards in here. And uh, like I said, the generator strategy does really interest me now that I've had more time to look into it. And uh, I've played against this deck before, and I've had times where the, the opponent has let me draw an absurd amount of cards, and I can only imagine looking back if they had a card like Heavy Slump or Appropriate, I would have been in a much worse off position. Um, and I think I might have a replay of that on my channel somewhere, um, of playing against generators, and them giving me an absurd amount of cards. And again, they would have had Heavy Slump. Might have been just game over, uh, 100%. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Drop a comment down below as well on your thoughts on the set or what cards you're looking forward to. Are you picking up any of these decks out of the set? Are you picking up Dragon Mage, Generators, or Math Max? Let me know. Or let me know in Discord. Discord link down below. Or follow me on Twitch and catch a live stream. Love to see you guys there. But anyways, thanks so much for watching. As always, Winter Kill sign out. We'll see you guys in the next one.